Hi, my name is Nick from Elite Outdoor Fitness. This video vlog is about increasing your weekly mileage. This can be really difficult for people, and most people get it wrong. The 10% rule doesn't necessarily work. If you're progressing correctly, and you've got all the additional kind of sport elements of cross training, uh, fell running, cross country running, weight and fitness type stuff, strength and conditioning, and even the cross training that you should be doing, really difficult to get that 10% rule right, and 10% is normally too much. Especially when you add on that you're trying to increase your mileage, which normally means if you're used to running up to say eight or 10 miles and doing weighted around about the half marathon kind of level, and you decide all of a sudden you're gonna be doing a marathon, you're normally just going a little bit above what your normal ranges are, and the durations in those ranges, the intensity minutes, etc., that kind of come with that type of training. And so at that point, you've normally got to reduce your weekly load. To make sure that you're kind of mitigating against further injury because your body is in an unknown kind of area of training. So when you're looking at increasing mileage, it's well worth looking at trying to put in AM and PM sessions. Normally, especially on efficiency sessions, certainly on the tempo kind of progressive sessions, and the LFD type sessions, you've got a bit of a cap and you can only really increase so much each week to make sure that you're progressing correctly. The best way to get around that a little bit is to add in a supplementary AM session. I normally stay up with about 12 or 15 minutes, four times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And this runs in line really nicely with my strength and conditioning that I have. I normally start with Monday, Wednesday and Friday once I've raced and I've deloaded and recovered to get back into my strength and conditioning kind of training. And over a period of time, normally two or three weeks, I go over to half body, half body, day off, half body, half body, day off, day off to facilitate the extra LSDs that I'm doing and the extra capacity training that I'm doing, weight and fitness or whatever on a weekend. And so part of that Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday strength and conditioning, I add in at the beginning of that a CV session. I'm lucky I've got a treadmill and a cross trainer, but most people, most people will kind of uh, either go to a gym or got their own gym or they're doing sessions outside for body weight stuff and so they might even have a bike. And if that's the perfect scenario, then I'd certainly look at a bike on Monday, run on a Tuesday, a bike on Thursday, a run on Friday. And start at about 12 to 15 minutes and increase only by about two or three minutes each week. Over a period of eight, 10, 12, 14 weeks, you can increase it up closer to the 45 minutes to an hour. And as you move forward up towards, closer towards the 30 or 40 minutes, you can increase those minutes each week by about five minutes. What does this do? It helps you for your PM sessions because you're loading at the right rate probably and hopefully, and you certainly will be if you're working with Elite Outdoor Fitness. And that will really mean you just need that extra little help with stretching your mobility and getting your lymphatic system in, like your immunity kind of topped up and making sure you get rid of all those roast products so that you're kind of warmed into the sessions that you're going to do in the, in the PM. It will also kind of get rid of all the waste products from the previous session, whether that was the night before, the day before, or whatever. What will it also do? It will make sure that you appropriately increase your mileage by breaking it down into an AM and PM session. I hope this helps and you find it useful. If you're not a member of Elite Outdoor Fitness, then tap onto the link, become a member at Elite Outdoor Fitness. Thanks for listening.